Hey there, YouTube family. It's Michelle or Shell Smells One, and um, just coming to you today for just a real quick um, shout out to my good buddy Sarah, nerd in Oregon, who had surgery yesterday. Looking forward to seeing how she's doing and seeing her next vid. So, Sarah, you are being thought of by many people, and um, I hope Mexico was everything you hoped it would be, and I hope that you um, are feeling great after your surgery and you're on the loser's bench. Wahoo! And I also want to talk to um, Buffy Rue, who has been making a couple videos. She's actually getting ready to um, do her Ruin Y Gastric Bypass on the 25th, which is also my nine month surge anniversary in the 25th. So. My RNY sister, um, listen here. You're wanting to know about um, whether or not you should cheat based on whether other people have cheated. Um, yeah, I did cheat on my pre surgery diet, but I only cheated once. I went to Cracker Barrel and I had um, steak and salad. So. I didn't drink any sodas, I didn't do any sweets, I didn't do nothing like that. Once I got off the soda, I stayed off the soda because reintroducing that caffeine to your system is just, uh, it's just toxic. Um, so basically, um, yeah, I cheated at Cracker Barrel with a steak and a salad and that was one week before surgery. And the last week before surgery, I was golden. Um, I really can't express, you know, you might as well start it. You might as well do it the right way. And I know you've been on liquid diets um, several times now because they didn't get your surgery right, and that's BS. But hopefully that won't be the case anymore. And hopefully on the 25th you'll be on the loser's bench. woo -hoo! I love seeing my RNY peeps. Um, there's so many sleevers, which, you know, it doesn't really make a difference. We're all weight loss surgery pals, and we all go through the same trials and tribulations with, you know, minor differences. So I'm really excited that you that you two are going to be um, starting your loss, starting your, your journey with the surgery. And um, I also want to tell you both that uh, don't be surprised if your size goes way up before it begins going down because that's one thing that I do remember that at two weeks out I was still wearing, um, as a matter of fact I went up a size and um, was either wearing 18s, 20s to 22s after surgery and it took me um, pretty much a month to be able to get down to a 16 from that size. So don't expect to be deflate right away. When they put all those fluids in you and they do that surgery and you're swollen, it takes time. So be prepared for that. Oh, I don't know what's going on with me hiccuping and whatever today. I was really sick um, night before last and um, I've been very sensitive. My stomach has been very sensitive. Um, here's what happened. Totally my fault, but I won't be repeating this ever. My daughter works at a Chinese restaurant and I had her get me some of those teriyaki pieces of chicken that come on a stick. I call them rat on a peg. <laughs> Right on a peg. So I had her get me a couple of those, and she came home from work, and it was like 11 o'clock at night, and I had been in bed for a while. And I never eat in at night, you know, past 7.30. But I was hungry. I, I don't know. I, just, I was just really hungry. And she said, I'm here, and I have these things. They're still warm if you want, if you want them, if you're still awake. So I got up, and I ate um, some of the chicken. I'm talking like, you know, minuscule amount, but... I guess I didn't chew it up properly or something. They're kind of tough. So I ate it. I was excruciatingly full, but I went ahead and laid right back down right away. Bad mistake. Wake up four hours later. I'm drooling. I'm foaming. I'm trying, you know, I'm so sick. My mouth and my breath is horrendous. I mean, it was just disgusting. And I get up and I just start puking up huge chunks of this chicken. And I don't mean to gross anybody way out, but this chicken had sat in my stomach for four hours at 98 degrees plus, okay? It was rancid, rancid meat, and I kept sicking it until it all came up. It was painful, it was disgusting, and my stomach still is not over that. 
yesterday was not a very good eating day for me, and um, I actually went to the movies, and it kind of sucked because, like, three-fourths of the way through the movie, I realized I needed food, and I hadn't brought anything with me, and um, I began to get very dizzy and he headachy. so never again will I go anywhere without some form of food in my purse. And I'm never eating that chicken teriyaki again. I don't give a crap how bad I want it and how good it smells. I ain't eating it because that was the most foul experience ever. Well, I don't know about ever, but it was pretty foul. So I'm taking it light with just some boiled egg whites, which are probably one of my most favorite foods right now. Boiled egg whites with a little cheese is, like, awesome. And a boiled egg white is only, like, um, 17 calories or something. I think, it's, I, think it, I think it's 17 calories and four proteins. So, you know, if you're looking at something high protein and low cow and no fat, there you have it. Well, I'm going to get going, but I just wanted to talk to my gals. And I also want to make a special thank you to Cherokee Bead Woman. I don't know if you know this, uh, Carol, but you are my very first subscriber. And I enjoy watching your journey and all your little crochet goodies. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being my first subscriber and um, how much that meant to me. And um, I, really, I really enjoy your videos, and I just can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. And all my new subscribers, thank you for joining me. And I'm going to have a nine-month update in a couple of days and maybe something before then. I don't know. You never know. Thanks so much, guys. See you later.